Here is chapter one, section one, solving a multi-step equation given in fractional form. So we do need to cover the steps on how to solve um, any linear equation, okay? And linear equation means when there's no exponents on the x's and there's no square roots on the x or anything like that, okay? So the first step is to use the lowest common denominator to eliminate eliminate fractions then the second thing we need to do is to eliminate distribute to eliminate parentheses. Then the third thing we need to do is combine like terms. On each side separately. Then once you have your one expression on the left and your one expression on the right, you're going to move variable terms to one side. Step five, move constant terms to the other side. So whichever side you move the variables, the opposite side is where you need to move the constants. And then you should have your variables on one side, your constants on the other when it's all said and done, which means the last step to do is divide. Now, not every time do we have to do all six steps. Sometimes we get lucky and we only need to do one step or three of the steps or five of the steps. So we need to be able to look at the problems and identify going down the list whether these steps apply. Now the first step I'm gonna do is use the common denominator to get rid of the LCD. Here the only denominator I have is four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply four to both sides of the equation. So here the four is going to eliminate the fraction leaving me with just 3x minus 35. And over here on the right side, I can actually multiply four times negative five and it is negative 20. So I have used the LCD to eliminate the fractions. There are no parentheses here, so I don't need to do step two, which is distribute. Step three is to combine like terms on each side separately. So if I cover one side, these two are not like terms, so they cannot be combined. If I cover the other side, it's only one term, so it's nothing. there's nothing it can be combined with, which means I don't have step three in this particular problem. Move the variable terms to one side. I only have one variable term in the whole e equation, and it's already on a side, so I actually don't have step four either. Now step five says for me to move the constants to the other side. So when they say this side or that side, they're talking about the equal sign, okay? The left side of the equal sign and the right side of the equal sign. Now all of my variables are on the left side of the equal sign. So this other side for this particular problem is the right side. So I need to move my constants over to the right side. This constant is already on the right side. So I need to move the negative or minus 35 to the right side. How do you move a constant? You use the opposite sign. So if this is subtracting 35, then I'm going to add 35 to undo that operation. 
So then negative 35 and 35 make zero. So there's no more constants on this left side. Now on the right side, negative 20 plus 35 is actually a positive 15. And then the very last step to do is to divide by the coefficient. Coefficient is a fancy word for the number in front of the variable. And variable is a fancy word for the letter. So we're saying the number in front of the letter. So the number in front of the letter here is three. So I'm going to divide both sides by three. And I get x equal to five.